All right, guys, Model Rocks 321 here, back with another video. Going to get a couple flights here. Got the sun hat on because the sun is out. It's nice and bright, but it's early and it's not too hot yet. So it should be a good day. But anyway, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, share the video and hit the thumb up button. And also, I saw people, a couple people saying that they're looking at getting back into the hobby. Yeah, definitely do that. Go ahead and go to Hobby Lobby or go online and um, buy a set and... Um, and get going, get going with some launches. It's Model Rocks 321, let's go. Today we'll be flying the Jupiter C. Um, I got it already on the pad, as you can see right here. Spent some time building this one. Um, I spent a little time, like I was working on it on, off and on and I finally got it done. Um, as you know, this is the uh, Jupiter C built around the Redstone missile and it has the um, Explorer 1, which is the first satellite ever put up by the US with help from those Operation Paperclip you know who those guys were after World War II we brought over from Germany so there we go this is probably a Von Braun project his hands were all on this I'm sure so we're gonna get this first flight going it's Model Rocks 321 all right here we go Model Rocks 321 we got the Jupiter C going on a C-53 going in five four three two one go <laughs> c53 and we got parachute nice everything's together i don't see myself in the frame just yet oh, come on don't tell me it's gonna be one of them days where the camera is gonna be that's a nice flight too falling kind of fast come on camera nice flight had a little delay Coming down good, way over there. And just touched down. Nice flight of the Jupiter C. I initially thought the mode the igniter had burned, had a little delay on the takeoff. That was an older igniter. Um, one of the old, old ones um, had a little delay on there, but it um, went on and popped. And then I think my gimbal got stuck, so we'll improve on the next one. Model Rock 321. So here we are coming up on the Jupiter C. Nice flight. Let's see what we got. Always good to check the fins first. And we look good there on the fins. All good. All good. Parachute was out nice and bright. I had some of that, some of that pink dust I was telling you about in there. And I'm not sure if I got that launch or not, man. That was um looked like the uh Gimbal was giving me a little problem. There's a mode, a mode where you can have a fast follow or a slow follow. It'll track. And I find out, I found out how to zoom, but none of that worked in this case. But we'll uh, we'll check the footage. We'll check the footage. My Rock three two one. Let's get another one going. All right, here we go. Model rockets three two one. We got the Jupiter C going for its second flight, and we are going in five. Four, three, two, one. There it is, right above us. We got parachute again. Nice. Coming down, coming down fast. The parachute singed. Looks like we got parachute singed. Oh no, I don't want this one to hit. Well, sorry you guys missed that. The parachute singed. I tried to catch it, but I didn't. Everything's still good. Hit kind of hard, but everything's still, still some pink dust in there. Everything's good. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was crazy. What happened? How we good? Did it singe or did it tangle? That was a good wrap, just like the last one. I don't know. No singe, just the parachute got tangled a little bit. Wow, nice flight though. This one flies good, but all the wadding's right here, like it all got stuck inside. Wow. That was strange. Well, we're gonna do that again. It's my Rocks 321. So, all right, guys, we're coming up on the last launch of the day. The last one, I don't know. It looked like I had a little, I thought it was a singe parachute, but it just had a little, a tangle, which is odd. I pack it the same way I always do. But you know how things are in rocketry suits. Crazy things can happen, so. We're gonna give this one more shot. We got the last launch of the day on the C53. 
as you can see the jupiter c's back there it's a nice flying rocket man if you can find one go ahead and get one they're all out of production they're vintage now but uh, find yourself one the jupiter c bottle rock three two one let's go all right guys so the way i fold i don't know what happened on that last one but i normally go i'll pull make sure all the straddle lines are kind of straight and not tangling each other i'll make like a nice point you can line up the dots i don't um i make like a nice little well right there and i'll do a double just a double this up once and i'll put it in that little well then i close it in and then i go one fold and um sometimes you can do two but one normally does it, especially for a rocket with this much room in the body tube one just like that then i'll put the um shock cord in which is all kevlar on this one put the shock cord in first make sure nothing's crossing get this down and out of the way then I'll come with the parachute right on top. It's kind of pushing the shock cord down in there, making sure no shroud lines are even crossing or going to get on the shoulder. You want this all to be to be free. And that's how I normally pack a parachute. So Smile Rock 321, that's how I pack a parachute. Let's get this last flight going. All right, here we go, guys. We got the Jupiter C final mission on a C-53 engine going in five, four, three, Two, one. There you go. Same thing again, look like parachute tangle. What is going on? That's falling fast. We're gonna have damage. Wow, parachute tangled again. Parachute tangled again. What is going on? I don't know what is happening with that. But everything survived. So strange. <laughs> These fins are on. Oh, we, got, we lost a piece of the fin. One piece popped off. Oh, well. What is happening? Here's that piece to the fin. Here's that piece to the fin. Wow. Well, the rocket gods, they were happy. And then they got unhappy. The Jupiter C, everything's in good shape other than this little piece popped off here. I would have caught it if I could, but just that piece pop off. A little fix up. Well, Model Rocks 321, you know what we do here. We fly them all. They're all just paper, plastic, and cardboard in a little bit of time. But this is Model Rocks 321. The Jupiter C had some great flights. It flies really nice on the C53. But those last two parachutes got singed, not singed. Had a little tangle situation. I don't know. Wow, that's just odd. Normally my pack jobs are all, you know, kind of good. Pretty good. But it's not liking that method today for some reason. So we will be back. We will review this. We will fix this up. And we will be back. It's Model Rocks 321. Wow. Lost a little rudder. There it is right there. I want to be sure to bring that home and get it all fixed up. But I will be flying this one again, though. Subscribe to the channel, guys. My Rock 321. Be sure to check the links below. Also, um, the PO box is there, the Cash App's there, um, and uh, what's it called? Um, PayPal's there. If you guys want to support the channel in any kind of way, it's My Rock 321. Catch you another day. So debrief time you just saw the jupiter c i really do like this rocket a lot just saw three flights of it on a c53 i just took one pack of them and launched all three of them this is really faded it's really faded but anyway just launched all three um engines from that pack it flew great it flies nice and straight with very little uh weather cocking very little curving um but it did have some curve not a whole lot though Great flights, just I don't know what was going on. First one deployed, parachute deployed, landed nice. Everything went good. Second one, I don't know if it's my method of packing today. I normally always pack my parachutes like that. It's just because I guess I guess ejection charge was causing it to run into the shroud line, into the shock cord or something, and it kept giving me a little tangle. So I will be revisiting this again because there's no burn on this whatsoever. Five sheets of recovery wadding is perfect. Yeah, there's like no burn. So they got that perfect. This is a 19, I think 1970 rocket. I forget what year this one was. Ran to, it went into the 80s, I believe. But there's no singe at all. I kept using the word singe because once in a while when gases get through and you get that little burn on the parachute, it'll melt it together. And I call that a singe. But there was no singe. 
I guess it kept burning into the shock cord or crossing itself self up some kind of way when I'm normally pretty good at keeping everything free. Usually you can get a deployment to happen. The first one went great. But then after that, you saw what happened. Those two tangles. And it hit kind of hard on, I thought for sure I was going to have more damage. But if you remember, if you saw when I was showing or sharing with this build, I always drill holes, <clears throat> excuse me, I always drill holes in the body tube so glue has a place to go. Like right along the root edge, I'll put glue. I drew some little pinhole drills and I put the glue on the fan and I make sure glues have, have somewhere to go. It creates like a rivet and it uh, gives it a stronger point to hold on to. So I don't know. So other than that, yeah, that's what uh, losing my train of thought. But it um it didn't hit that bit, hit hard, like and only broke off this one rudder, and it didn't even break where the glue was, because I used a small little line of epoxy. You can see epoxy holds, and it broke around that. So this is an easy fix. Just got some dust and stuff. I'll get this all fixed back up and it'll be pretty. No sympathy. I make Flyers, I make um, no shelf queens. I launch the rockets, I build them to fly them, scale, detail, I don't care how many hours I put in it, whatever. I'll get it out there and fly it. Like I said, this stuff is all just stuff. <laughs> it's just at the end of the day, it's just paper, plastic, cardboard for the most part. Um, some nice paper, plastic, and cardboard, but it still stands. I'm going to get this all fixed up and wiped down and cleaned up. I had a small little, little ding right there. I don't mind these little burns around the top, and that's part of it. Small little ding right there it had. I don't know what that will cause that but um could be a zip could be a small little zipper but i don't know small little ding out something i can fix or not fix whatever but like i said this is a nice flyer i think it said 750 feet um was the estimated uh, altitude according to the, the the face car that comes with it um yeah pretty pretty good rock i really like the jupiter see i like this one a lot always wanted one i got one you know through ebay or whatever and i'm just Got it all built up and nice. Like I said, Explorer 1. I can take this tape off here. Or I can leave it. I may, find, I may just glue this in because there's no need for this to even be taken out. I mean, it does show it. I, I do like how it looks. I mean, you can see. I'll take this tape off to show you. Yeah, it's America's first satellite. Um, I think 1958. As I mentioned earlier, it's part of the, you know, the Operation Paperclip. If you know what that is, when after World War II, we brought over all those... Nazi scientists, and um, <laughs> that's what they were. Yeah, so it's the Explorer 1, little satellite. This is pretty cool. I do like having this be able to remember. I'm not going to glue it. I'm not going to glue it. I do like that. Like, so another little rocket. It launches. And I think the payload was, uh, the satellite was uh, that whole part. But yeah, so. And this piece, actually, during launch, it spins. Not the real version. This spun. And you can see that black, it spun. That would have been cool to make this piece actually spin like I have it on a nice some bearings and I would go and spin it with my finger and it would spin and go over do your countdown that would have been really cool still something to keep in mind this decal is kind of getting funky I'm going to be peeling this off and I'm just going to paint this whole ring right here it's going to be flat black because this is getting all weird I don't know the decals when I did the build it did not work if you saw in the build video or the revealing when I was peeling the tape off for this rocket um there was original decals man I, I coated them with the micro scale, it did not work. They still kind of didn't want to stick and it was just weird. So I went on and um, had some uh, sticker shock. I don't know if you know them. They make a lot of decals. Had some sticker shock decals and I just used um, use those. I used those vinyl ones. They're thin, they're nice. Like I said, I make flyers here. Um, so that's the deal with this. Decent day, first flight was nice and then the two, you know, kind of hit. And these survived because of that method. And I used, like I said, a small amount of epoxy. It held these fins on. I mean, it took they took a beating. They hit kind of hard um, on that ground out there. Just the only one that took a ding on the corner because that's where it hit, and it had to it had to give. You know, something had to give on that one. But this is an easy fix, and I can paint that back over with some flat black. Just wipe it down, get the rocket all nice again. So the Jupiter C, um, very nice rocket. I love this one. I love it. I actually found the, my plugs today. These are all I used all these igniter plugs. Normally I'll tape them in, but today I went with the plugs. They were there, easy to do. So I went on to use those. And here are the five C five threes. Nice engine. I'm pretty sure this rocket will do just as well on a C six three. But the old school design it recommended C five three, and C five threes are back, known as the Super Cs. And I went on and um, and I did it. One other thing I didn't show or talk about, which I have, is a new Jolly Logic two. 
is the new packaging. This is the old packaging. The old one is gone because it's lost in my so long, which is still out there somewhere. I got my name on the fin. Hopefully somebody finds it if it's out there somewhere. And a commenter said, um, it's probably a mile out. I drove a mile out. I went all through because it's streets and it's stuff all back there. Like there's shopping centers and stores and it looked like the desert I'm in, but it's kind of still city. Like it's that area where I'm at is a little rural and you know, I can fly in that field. But you go <clears throat> back behind that building, it's some industry back there. So I went through all the parking lots. I went out that next day after that launch and went and I searched and searched. I'm telling you, I, I searched guys. I searched. So yeah, here's the new one. I did get a new one. Um, yes, yeah, so here's the two packages. I wish I'd find it. Hopefully somebody um, contact me when they hopefully find it. If it's not in the tree or it's not, if somebody's not going to just keep it. You know, some people are rude like that. You might keep it. <laughs> I personally would definitely return. If somebody has a name or something, if I find a wallet and it has money in a name, if I got your ID, you got it. I'm going to give it back. Um, most people, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think most people keep it. Matter of fact, I'll do a quick story. I'll tell a friend of mine. When me and a cousin, we were younger, we found a wallet. Um, we were walking and found a wallet with like $500 or something in it. And um, when they had the name and everything, we returned it. We returned it to them. And uh, I think they gave us a small reward. It's like way back. But anyway, I would return the rocket. You know, it would be cool. Cool ending. But so long it's gone. But, and the Jolly Logic is gone. But I do have the new one. I did like this old one. It just had a straight, you plug it straight. You can see USB is kind of built in on it. This one has a cable. So now you got a, one additional, you got to plug into it. Then you plug it in through your USB on whatever your hub or whatever you're using. So I hope it works the same. It should probably work the same. But yeah, calculates the same stuff, it seems. So got the Jolly Logic 2. Jupiter C, we're going to get you all fixed up. This will happen today. I'm going to be fixing and working on this today. I got some other stuff coming. Still working the space shuttle. That's coming along nice. So stay tuned, guys. Model Rocks 321. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share the videos. If you're coming back to this hobby, come on back. Don't hesitate alone. Go get a kit, get something in the air, and get involved. It's Model Rocks 321. I'm out. Check out this video right here. Watch this video.